Hello my lovely Aries, welcome to your reading for July 2024. This is a general reading for you Aries, it's a reading for Aries Sun Rising and Moon Sign. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and hitting that notification bell, commenting on my channel. The support it generates and works with the algorithm which helps get my videos out there which helps me bring more of these videos to you. If you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you would like to be notified when I'm posting new videos for you. Aries, it's an interesting month for you. I'm feeling um, your channeled message for this month, the messages that's coming through uh, and what I got through my meditation is that there is a um, an awakening there is a time of there's this new new start it's this you know it's this proverbial crossing the threshold and that's always a new beginning there's a new awareness there's a reawakening there's a forward movement there's a time of um, recreating or creating something new, something that inspires you, something that brings in new energy, something that ignites that enthusiasm uh, and that sense of adventure in you. So there is a real awakening here that's coming up for you for the month of July, which is a really exciting time. It's a time where you can choose to take that step to um, reignite that passion, to have the courage to move forward and bring in cha the changes that are needed around you, that you are working towards, that you feel like intuitively need to happen. But then there's free will. And free will is when you choose, oh, look, better the devil you know than the devil you don't know. I'm going to stay where I am. I don't have the courage to move forward. I don't have the courage to bring in the changes that um, I'm needing to bring in. Um, so there's this double-edged sword here for you for the month of July. What are you going to choose? Are you going to cross that threshold? Are you going to bring in and reignite that passion? What changes need to be made in your life around you to ignite that, that passion, to, to bring in that sense of adventure that is innate in you? Very interesting month. Now I'm going to draw a card from the Lantern Oracle today, which is this card, if you this deck, if you're interested. Um, it's a beautiful deck. It tells a story. So let's draw that. And then I'm going to draw a card from, of course, the Divine Animal Oracle deck that I use to create the animal, there we go, the animal um, for your totem for the month of July because we're building that. Mm, that came out quickly as well for you. Okay, let's put that there. So what do we have? The Divine Animal Oracle deck. Let me just move those about to uh, bring those in for you. Okay, what have we got? Ah, radical curiosity. Seeing as if for the first time every time. That's that reigniting of that um, natural curiosity that children have. That sense of adventure, that sense of excitement. I like that. Igniting that um, reawakening, finding that, that sense of adventure, that curiosity of what if, what if, what if? So you're really being asked to make radical changes if that's what's needed around you, to bring in that excitement, to bring in that new sense of adventure, to reawaken um, that sense of lightness, that sense of trying new things or seeing things for the first time, looking around you with fresh eyes, looking at things. You know, when you sort of, you, you are living in a particular way, you get very used to it. It's when you stand back and think, let me look at this from a distance. What is it that needs to be changed? What is it that needs to be tweaked? This is the energy that's coming in around you. 
your divine or animal oracle deck that's around you, it's interesting because you have the hyena and the hyena is about fear. So that's what I was saying to you with your channeled message. Do you have the courage to make the changes, to see things with fresh eyes, to see things with newness and move forward? Are you going to live in the same old, same old way that is not bringing to you that satisfaction, that excitement, that sense of adventure, that sense of energy around you? You can choose that or you can look at how lush and green and exciting your future can be. What does it hold? What does this change hold? Is it, is it fear that's holding you in the old patterns? If so, let's have a look at that. What is the potential? What new plans, what new ideas do you have? So there's that, that duality for you. As I said to you in your channeled message, there's that double-edged sword situation happening around you. I'm going to create the Celtic cross. Let's have a look at what is there for you. Let's take the deep dive. My lovely Aries, let's take the deep dive. Yes, you see, I like that already. Let's have a look. Give me a moment to create this for you. And then I will work through it with you. It fits very well with, our cha with the channeled message. Let me get that. With the channeled message with your with your two cards that that um, introduced this this month to you I'll give you those as well got a few there so this message is really wanting to come through for you I'll give you those extra cards as well got to give you what they give me here all right so what do we have we've got here um, first up we've got the four of cups you see this is what are you what is it that you've been thinking about what changes have you been wanting to bring in what new idea do you want to bring in around you what awake, reawakening some some um, something from the past or something you've always wanted to do it's time to now have the uh, sense of adventure and reawakening to bring that into your reality be mindful of the anxiety your anxiety be mindful of what you're fearing really sit and and think about and process what's holding me back what do I fear what do I fear I might lose is it something that is really important in the scheme of things do I have the courage to move forward these are all the things that you would be asking yourself because that's going to come up for you that's going to come up for you you've also got the um, six of cups which is childhood memories childhood wishes childhood you know what did you want to aspire to what did you envisage your future was going to what did you envisage you were going to be what point were you going to be at this point in your life where were you going to be what was going to be around you what plans did you have what sense of excitement what brought that excitement what did you used to do that you could re that is there to be reignited because as children we know what we want to do you've also got the eight of swords and this is there's a lot of um, opportunities eight is a very fortuitous number so there's a lot of opportunities around you but don't overthink don't get caught up in the thought processes don't you know when we get caught up in our thought processes we race you race ahead you cross bridges that you may never come to um, and so that can absolutely paralyze you that can stop you in your tracks. Be very mindful of that when you're when you're in that wishful, um, childlike space of new adventures, new excitement, new what what really sings to you. Don't then start going, oh, well, what if this and what if that and what about this and what about that will paralyze you. That's the fear element coming through here for you. You've also got the four of pentacles, the four of coins. 
It's about really not being too possessive, too stuck, that you're not going to take a risk, that you're not going to sort of step out of your comfort zone. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone, I'm hearing here as well. I've come this far. This is what I've accumulated. I'm going to just keep doing this even if it doesn't bring me joy, even if it doesn't awaken that excitement. What are you holding on to? What are you holding on to that you're scared of releasing or losing or losing? Big questions here. You've also got the justice card. This is something to do with legalities, signing a lease, um, having someone look over a, a contract, buying or purchasing a big item. But it's also bringing, uh, being that neutral observer and bringing your life into alignment. Now, how can I balance my life? Am I working too hard? Uh, am I working in a job that doesn't bring me joy? Um, do I want to pursue another career, or another another job, another opportunity? Do I want to start my own business? What are you weighing out? Your resources? It's about looking at things in neutrality. When you talk about justice and the law, or um, it, it's about justice is about looking at things in a neutral way, removing emotions and looking at the facts. So it's about really balancing that ledger sheet of what do you want. Um, if you stay where you are, these points, you've got these points. If you take these steps to move forward, there's these points. Where's the balance? One might be heavier than the other. I like that. What's coming up for you is an opportunity here. You've also got the Six of Swords. There's an opportunity here to move from where you are to something better. You're being guided. Intu um, stay in tune with your intuition because that's not going to mislead you. It is going to move you forward. You are being guided. I think you're going to have a hard time staying where you are, keeping it the old ways going. For some of you, it's going to be big, big, big steps. For some of you, it's just tweaking it so that it's more comfortable for you. It's bringing in that, that awareness and that sense of adventure. Do you need to stop working so hard and go off and uh, go for bushwalks, go sailing, go um, camping, go out and about, um, travel, opening up that new awareness? It's not for some of you, it will be that. It will be that. It's about, my lovely Aries, really stepping into your shoes, finding that fire in your belly, not listening too much to others, but following your intuition, following what you believe, following your instincts. Absolutely. Being very protective of the direction you're wanting to move in. You know what's right for you. You know what puts that fire in your belly. And it's time now to really find the courage and the energy to start moving forward. Find that, that inner passion, that inner fire. Absolutely. You've also got the hermit. I like this. This is you digging deep. Finding, you know, of getting, uh, um, moving away from distractions, traveling into internally, meditating, really discovering what direction you want to move in. What new things do you want to bring in around you? What changes do you want to make? Is it in a relationship that's just not feeding your passion, uh, your excitement? Is it just day day after day is the same thing? There's no joy in it. Is it work? Is it a job that you're doing? Is it just some project that you're needing to get underway? You're going to discover that by getting rid of distractions, going for walks, really delving deep within you. What is it that you're wanting? You've also got the devil card. And the devil is about not being manipulated, not taking shortcuts, not taking the easy route, not being tempted to keep the same old, same old because that's what you know, that's what's easy, not listening too much to others' opinions but rather follow your own intuition so that you're not going to be uh, not allowing fear to take hold as well. 
because you've got the chariot here. This is about really driving home, driving that force home, um, charging ahead. You're in control here. This is nothing that anyone can do for you. This is something you need to do for yourself. Bringing into alignment your shadow self and your conscious self, bringing those in, dealing with fears, dealing with anything that's holding you back. Could be guilt, could be fear, could be um, self-worth. What is it for you in your, in your shadow self? Bringing it into your conscious self and, and really forging ahead, moving forward, moving forward. These are the extra cards you've got because you've also got the King of Cups. This is about finding that self-love, that, that emotional balance. Kings are very forthright, forceful. They know how to move forward, getting in touch with your intuition and, do, and taking action with it, knowing that it's going to be successful, knowing that it's going to work because you've also got the Three of Cups. And by the end of July, you're going to see the results of the changes you're wanting to bring in. There's celebration around you, celebrating your successes, celebrating you, this rediscovery of you. So this could be a birthday, an anniversary, a wedding, also a celebration, um, an increase in social activities, going out with friends, enjoying, enjoying life. That's that part of that reawakening. It's going to be a very interesting month for you, my lovely Aries. It's filled with opportunities. It's filled with stirrings. Intuitively, you're going to know uh, something needs to change. I need to find that joy again. I need to tap back into that joy in my life. I like it. It's like you're taking the blindfold off. You're seeing things um, I, uh, renewed in a different way. It's not very different to when you have children and the little children discover things for the first time and you watch them and you it also teaches you to discover things for the first time or rediscover things. You've got divine abundance from, from my divine abundance deck. So you've actually got divine abundance. You were born to align with love's will. Follow the Tao and that's follow your intuition and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. So when you're feeling these things, just go with it. You will know what to do. You'll know the next step. You'll know what you want to put in it to. Who's publishing something? Who's, it's, it's time. It's time to really step out. Time to step out, my lovely Aries. I wish you love, light and many blessings. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there.